Welcome back, hunters, to another episode of Helix's Wild Hunts. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a new recently added elite monster. Uh, that's actually a classic monster from the Monster Hunter franchise, the Diablos. And I'm really excited to take a look at it. Joining me today, I got a few friends of mine helping me out with the fight. We have Enedeth, Cabeza, and Ka what the fuck? And Kagula. Also, just wanted to mention that the English patch is available to download now from Team HD. Go check it out. It's still getting patched and they're adding new things that are getting translated every time. So I highly recommend having that active while you're playing. It really does help make the experience a lot more easier when you're playing this Chinese-only game. All right, let's get hunting. Seriously though, what the fuck? All right, so we are in the Moonlands, and you might be asking, how do I know that? Well, that's because I am finally using the Team HD English Translator patch. And it looks like Enedeth's getting slapped around a little bit by the bugs and showing the cats who's boss. All right, so we're looking for the Diablos, and I'm just gonna make sure I take my hot drink here. Oh, honestly, it is so great just being able to look and see English added to the game now. Oh, it looks like we found the Diablos He's in the corner. We're just gonna try clearing out the trash mobs in a moment here. And uh, looks like Cabeza might have disconnected. So we're just gonna go wait for him to come back. We're just gonna clear out things here. Ten minutes later. All right, so we're just gonna clear out the trash mobs while we wait uh, for Cabeza to return. Looks like Diablos has already gotten our attention, so... We just gotta try to avoid him as best possible at the moment. And he is angry. I've always been a big fan of how Diablo sounds when he's doing his roar. Alright, so we've cleared the playing field, now we just gotta avoid Diablos for a little bit. As you can see, he still has a lot of his similar attacks from the other Monster Hunter games. You just gotta make sure that you watch where he's gonna pop up from underground. Now if you see the ground that gets a little bit watery there, if you stand on top of that, what ends up happening is you will get stun locked if you don't have tremor resistance. We're going to be going after his tail first to try to sever it. Well, it looks like someone put Paralyze on him, which is fantastic. I believe it is End of Death using the Paralyze coating. Now, I just stepped back there after I did my combo, just because I was told not to do the full burst with the wide shot and lance. And, forgive me, I may still end up doing it from time to time, but I'm going to try to focus on doing my full charge stab combos, like so since my gun lance specializes in it. I'm still learning, guys. I really actually do appreciate when you guys give me feedback and suggestions, so I've been listening to it, and hopefully uh, that'll continue as I progress using the, the weapon. All right, so he's gone over now to zone six. He really loves digging in, and he's already in enrage mode, so I'm just gonna shield myself here just in case. Where is he going? All right, so he wasn't after me. He was after end of death from the looks of it. Diablos is a very, very fast monster. Oh, someone set a trap, so it looks like Cabeza put down a shock trap. I'm just gonna switch out my life powder for now, we don't need that. Alright, perfect. So I'm just gonna aim for the tail. Nice, we've already cut off the tail, that was very, very fast. Next, we want to shatter his horns. Oh! Oh no, and a death! No! What I was saying before is we're going to have to break those horns. And it looks like Cabeza set up another trap. The best part about the... Oh, he's going after me! Oh my goodness, that was close. The best part about the pitfall trap is that Diablos' head tends to stick out. So once he comes through here... Oh, he's definitely going to throw some things... <laughs> He's, he's going to stick his head out when he's caught in the pitfall trap, so it gives us a chance to land some hits on his face and hopefully break those horns of his. 
I managed to land my double charge Wyvern's Fire on him, which was perfect. It's good that we got rid of his tail. I really gotta be careful. He hits very hard. Even though I'm using the Akra of a Shimu set, he is hitting like a truck. Now, I brought Sonic Bombs with me. Anytime that he goes underground, there's a good chance that we can get him caught off guard by throwing a Sonic Bomb before he pops out of the ground, and that'll actually stun him for a little bit. Oh, I did not expect him to slide backwards like that. It'll work almost like the Pitfall Trap, so he'll get caught peeking up off the ground just for a bit, and it gives us that opportunity to get some hits on his horns. Alright, so we're gonna try getting him to go into the pillars. Uh, sorry for some of the footage cut, I know you see that one of his horns is broken. The game disconnected for a moment there, I just cut that out. Oh, oh! Kagula! Oh, Kagula just got sent into the sky. Now, these little pillars that are laid about the map, if the Diablos tries to ram you, uh, you'll be able to block it and actually get him stuck into these little pillars if he runs through them. However, I think that, yeah, the hitboxes of them are a little bit buggy at the moment. Oh. And that was a poorly timed Sonic Bomb, so he's back now at Zone 8. It seems like a lot of the elites that we've been fighting have been in the, the Moonlands. Alright, so that Sonic Bomb didn't work too well. He just keeps going back underground. I'm just gonna block here. Hopefully this helps. Oh, oh, no! Oh! Oh, that was so lucky. And a death just saved me. I'm gonna try and land my Ultra here on his head. And we've broken the second horn. That'll give us a much higher probability that we'll be getting the drop that we want, which is those horns. Oh! Now, as you saw there, I deflected a little bit off of his head, so I need to go sharpen my weapon. First, I'm just gonna avoid this! Now, I hope... I hope people are enjoying the fact that I am trying to properly do the, the right combos and attacks with my weapon now. He stunned me there. Gonna keep my guard up and continue doing. Oh, the tail got me, but we did manage to knock him over. So I'm gonna land my double Wyvern's Fire on his face. Anything else that we break now is just extra. Alright, it looks like he is enraged again, so he's gonna start attacking really quickly now. Oh! Alright, he's limping, so that means that he's gonna go try and rest up. And I believe we are gonna go try and capture him from the looks of it. Now, I'm not sure what his resting point is. It might be zone 9 or... No, he is going to another zone again. Alright, so he's at zone 6, which I think is his resting point from the sound of it. Yeah, and that said, wait for it to go to six to sleep. That's a little unusual, his music stopped. Oh, looks like Kagula is setting up a trap, so I guess you can roll out of uh, setting a trap, because you saw there I almost set up my own trap. And that is the Diablos captured. I hope you guys enjoyed that hunt. Let's see if we can line ourselves up and get a nice little shot here. 
A little victory pose in front of the monster. And also because I'm using the English patch, I'm gonna have a look and see what the, the drops are because now I can focus and enjoy getting the proper drops that I need. Alright, now as you can see I got a low rank unfortunately because I did disconnect and that totally botched how much damage I did. But, here are the drops, so let's have a look. So Diablo, okay, so Diablo Shell, Diablo's Medulla, Diablo's Tail, Carapace, Fang, Tail Case, and Twisted Horn, which is exactly what I need. And I got four pieces of it, which is fantastic. Alright, that wraps up another episode of Helix's Wild Hunts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that fight. Again, I want to thank Cabeza, Kagula, and Enadeth for helping me hunt the Diablos. Now, I, I've been getting a few suggestions that people want to see some other weapons other than the Gunlands, and I, I will unlock some of them. Uh, the only thing is that I need to start unlocking some of the skill traits and abilities that are locked at the moment. So, that may take some time. So, I, I hope you guys understand that I'll be using the Gunlands for a little bit longer. I want to continue going through the HR 3 to 4 ranked elites first before we move on to HR 5 and 6. As always, leave your comments and suggestions below. I wish you all happy hunting, and I'll see you all on the next level.